Hey guys, this is Emma Moore with Broodwell. I wanted to give you kind of like an owner's manual for these water keepers because I get a lot of questions about it. I want to make sure that one, it's tasting good to you and two, that you're really getting the maximum effects of these. So as soon as you get it, you want to go ahead and put it in the fridge. Um, I always advocate for trying it out without manipulating um, any of the the taste. Um, that way you can kind of see where you want to go from there, either if you want to make it more flat or add a little fizz to it. So just like with any other soda, if you want it to go more flat, keep opening it. Um, if you want it to have a little more fizz, you can do a few things. Um, one, you can go ahead and set it out at room temperature for about 24 hours and that will speed up the fermentation process and it'll naturally get fizzier. Um, put it back in their fridge and once it's at the temperature that you can enjoy it at, you can notice and see if that's enough for you. Another thing you can do is drop um, a piece of fruit. Strawberry, raspberries tend to work the best, maybe even a date or a fig. You can just leave it in there until you're done drinking. So for example, this is hibiscus right here. You can see some of them floating around and you can see all that fizz that it creates. Um, if it's still not fizzy enough, you can do this and leave it out at room temperature for 24 hours and that will really get it fizzy. Just be careful not to get it too fizzy because I've had this explode all over my white walls before. So those are two different ways to um, kind of manipulate uh, the fizz to this. Uh, you'll notice that there's a best buy date. Um, I typically make this about three weeks out from when I brew it for you. So I get a lot of questions of what happens if I get to that date and I haven't had it yet. So in the fridge, this will continue to ferment. It ferments at a slower rate because it's colder, but that bacteria is still gonna be eating up some of the residual sugars. And what happens during that time is it can get fizzier. So you have to be careful of things not exploding. One, I don't want you to ruin your fridge. And two, um, I don't want you to miss out on enjoying any of this from spillage on the floor. Um, but that's also going to um, result in a little bit higher alcohol content the longer you leave it in there with those sugars and that fermentation process going on. Now when you get it from me, it's about at a 0.5% alcohol, which um, I still feed this to my young girls. I wouldn't do that if there was any concern. Um, and there are vinegars and there are juices with higher alcohol content than that. But if you drink this after that Best Buy date, just know that there could be higher alcohol content, which could be good for some of you. Um, third thing that's going to happen after that Best Buy date is because that residual sugar is getting eaten up, it's going to go from this nice sweet taste to a more vinegary one. So you just might not like it as much. Um, it's not going to go rancid. The bacteria in here, especially the lactic acid, lactic acid bacteria is anti-pathogenic. So any bad bacteria that's going to get in here, it's going to immediately go away. So you do not have to worry about that. Um, some people ask questions about why are things floating inside of their drinks. So if you look right up here, see that little white stuff? And then especially on this hibiscus, you see a lot in there. Um, that's good stuff. That's actually the culture. That's what you want to drink. So if it grosses you out, just close your eyes and down it. Um, some people are asking what can they expect um, to feel after drinking this. Um, just remember it's a live probiotic. So you want to tread lightly, especially if you have gut issues. I would start with Maybe a fourth a cup a day, work your way up to half a cup. Um, I am at a full cup now, um, sometimes even more, um, and I love putting it in my stemless wine glasses. I swear that makes it taste better. Um, but as you start off, just pay attention to your body. There is no prescription amount for this. Um, it can cause a little more bloating. It can cause some loose stools initially. Um, just know that's a good thing. It's these guys getting in there and kind of cleaning up shop. If that persists for weeks, um, I would take a step back away from the water keeper. I'd work on cleaning up your diet um, and then reintroduce it back um, into your life slowly again. Um, 
some good benefits, uh, like we talked about with it not going rancid, this is a potent antifungal. And I'm not just talking about toe fungus. So um, we all have candida that exists inside of us. And when we have too much of that, that's when any kind of disease can start. So um, because these guys go in and get rid of the bad guys, um, anything from acne, skin irritations, I mean, candida is being linked to arthritis, um, autism, all different sorts of things. Um, so you could see um, great benefits um, from that. So I hope I answered a lot of questions. If you have any more, feel free to hit me up with them. And I can't wait for you to get your hands on this goodness and to cater it to your taste buds. So thanks for watching.